as you guys know i did recently post this headliner prediction video where i did also explain how the headliners promo works so if you do want to check that out i'll leave the link in the description but we now know a lot of the players confirm stats that are coming tomorrow at 6 p.m uk time and today i'm going to be looking through the leaked stats and the players and what their cards could be looking like if you do going to enjoy hit the like and subscribe but yeah let's get straight into this i did recently post this poll on my footmaster clip channel discussing about whether i should post about leaks now it was slightly in favor of people saying i should stop posting leaks because they're ruining fifa which i kind of agree on to be honest however i've changed this because a lot of people in the comments said keep doing them they're enjoyable so what i've come up with as a compromise i've said from now on instead of the thumbnail like in this video where i show the leaked players i'm going to completely not show any of the leaks so if some of you who don't like leak videos don't want to watch the video, you'll see on the title and the thumbnail leaks, but you won't see the players. It'll be like a question mark over the cards, etc. So you guys don't get spoiled if you don't want to see, because for me as a content creator, it's quite hard to avoid them. Every time I check Twitter, I'm going to see them regardless. Even if I try not to, I'm just going to see them pop up. So I might as well make content on them and people enjoy it. So I'm going to keep doing it, but I'm going to change the way I post them with the thumbnail, etc. and the title. So I hope that's okay with everyone on the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think of that change. But yeah, getting straight into this. As you know, Team 1 of Headliners was leaked a few days ago now. Quite early for leaks to come out, but this is the full Team 1 we got leaked leaked with some really nice names in there Mbappe, Van Dijk and Kunku these are all performance based cards now Foot Sheriff has summarized that he was given these names to be in the promo and specific ones to be in the mini release however this has changed apparently Gnabry may be in the mini release added with Ramsdale, Sangare and Savanir instead so we're gonna have to wait and see for that not all the players stats have been leaked which is nice so I'm only going to be covering the ones that have been leaked up and until late thursday night which is when i'm recording this video let's get into the leaked player stats the first player whose stats were leaked was van dyke now this upgrade from his inform is very very minor i'm not sure why he's getting a card like i haven't he hasn't been on great form for liverpool this year it's kind of giving me vibes that ea just want to sell packs with big names in there this card's obviously going to be very good. And if Van Dijk gets a goal and a clean sheet in some games this season, this card could get a few upgrades. The next player whose stats were leaked is Acuna. Now this card has had an absolutely insane upgrade compared to people like Van Dijk. His pace has been boosted massively to give him a very, very nice looking card. Incredible dribbling, physical and passing stats. He'll be an absolute beast in the midfield position and I don't think he'll be cheap at all. Serge Gnabry's stats were leaked by foot sheriff and mitch trading and these stats look absolutely insane as well he's been given quite a big boost to his pace which is very good so he's going to be one of the best wingers in the whole game in my opinion four star four star he's going to be more popular than leroy sane now because he has the weak foot advantage and i expect this card to be quite expensive as well reese james has also received a very good upgrade as you can see by the leak stats his pace has gone up quite a bit nice dribbling very well-rounded stats i think his shooting should have been higher from the start of the game to be honest however this card could probably get a few upgrades reese james has been on very good form this year and it wouldn't surprise me if this card gets to 90 at the end of this fifa the best player in this whole promo stats were leaked and that's killian mbappe's now this card is definitely going to be at least three million coins when it comes out thinking back to his inform which was three mil when it was released this is a live card as well so if mbappe gets a few informs this year this card could go up to like 95 rating or something crazy so this guy is going to be incredibly expensive of course and we all know why he's literally going to be the best card in the game or one of at least and kunku's stats were also leaked and he's been given a very minor upgrade off his other cards now i expected this card to remain 88 because of his player of the month but he did also get a team at a group stage which was 88 and ea did say they'd be upgrading these cards from those so if nkunku keeps performing well in real life this card is going to get a lot of upgrades this fifa so i don't think it'll be cheap on the market because of that ramsdale's stats were leaked as well now this card because it's a goalkeeper of course 
I don't think he's going to be incredibly expensive at all. He's going to be probably the cheapest in the promo or one of at least. I know he's on very good form, but just because he's a goalkeeper, he won't be as expensive as the outfield players. He's had a very good season so far, so I wouldn't put it past him to get a few upgrades on this card as well. Kula Bali's card is going to be absolutely incredible. He's actually been upgraded from his player of the month, which EA did put on last year's website that they weren't going to do. So maybe they're going to do that this year with other players players in team two that we could be seeing like maybe a Vinicius Jr which is not good for me as I have his player of the month but anyway Koulibaly is going to be insane of course for Serie A teams he's one of the most broken center backs I've played against even though he's very heavy in game he's still going to be a very solid card Sangare stats were also leaked and his card is looking like an absolute beast in the CDM position look at the physicals and defending on this card the people who have aired of his team are loving life at the moment because the amount of cards from this league that have been released this year that are extremely meta is insane. So I might have to switch to the area of his because the amount of cheap beasts in that league is really, really good this year. Those are all the players that have had their stats leaked. So a lot of them are still a mystery, which is good. So that doesn't mean the leaks have ruined every single card in the promo. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to check out all the social media down below. But it's been Footmaster and I'm out. Peace.